let's work through an example and work through it nice and slow and deliberately to uh, see the types of calculations that we can be that can be done on on these type of uh, circuits. First of all, we're given this amplifier, which consists of a DC biasing voltage and an AC or a small signal. It has a resistor in the uh, drain line, and we're given this information over here. And first of all, let's determine the DC bias quantities, the overdrive voltage, the drain current, the VDS, and the uh, small signal gain. gain. Well, VOV is equal to VG, VGS minus VT. We're given that VGS is equal to 0 0.6, and VT, we're told, is 0 0.4, so minus 0 0.4. So the overdrive voltage is equal to 0 0.2 volts. Now, I sub D, we can get, um, we're going to assume that it's saturated, and uh, I sub D then is equal to 1 half K sub N prime W over L times VOV squared, which is equal to 1 half times K sub N prime is 0.4. W over L, we're told, is 10. And V over V, we just calculated to be 0 0.2. That's going to be squared. And that gives us that I sub D is equal to 0 0.08 milliamps, or 80 microamps. Now, the bias voltage VDS, capital V, capital DS, is equal to I sub D. Or no, I'm sorry, it's equal to VDS here is going to equal the voltage VDD minus the drop across here due to the bias current. So it'll be VDD minus I sub D times R sub D. And notice what we're doing here. We're looking only at the, at the DC components here. So the DC component of the uh, drain voltage is equal to the power supply voltage minus the DC current times R sub D. And that's going to equal, let's see, VDD we're told is 1.8 volts minus, we just calculated the current at 0 .0, minus 0 0.08 times R sub D. 0 0.08 is in milliamps, All right, so let's put R sub D in kilo ohms, 17.5, and that gives us then uh, 0.4 volts. Now we can calculate A sub V. A sub V, you'll recall, is equal to negative K sub N times V O V times R sub D. Or negative K sub N, that's 0.4 milliamps, um, times, let's see, K sub N. Oh, K sub N is K sub N prime times W over L. So we got the K sub N prime, which is 0.4 milliamps, times the uh, W over L, which is 10, times VOV, which we determined to be 0.2, times R sub D, since this is in milliamps per volt squared, we're going to put this in as kilo ohms again, 17.5 kilo ohms, and we get then that A sub V is equal to a negative 14 volts per volt. So we've calculated the, the bias values. VGS, the bias voltage of the gate, was given to us. V sub T, of course, was given to us. We've determined that VDS, then, this equals 0.4 volts. And we also know that the current, the DC current, is the 80 microamps. All righty, the next question then becomes, how big of a swing can we have on the input signal? We're now talking about how big, what is the amplitude of VGS, the small signal, how big can that be and still keep the transistor in the linear region or in the saturation region? In other words, we've got from here to here that is saturated, but our VDS is here, and so our output VDS is going to be this DC value plus some quantity that can come down this far 
and it could go up further than that, but we're looking for a symmetrical um, signal out, so a symmetrical signal in. So clearly we're going to be limited here at VDS min, the minimum value of VDS, which is going to correspond to the maximum value of VGS. So when this goes high, this is going to be going low, and that's because of that um, that 180 degree phase shift or that minus sign. This is an inverting amplifier. So to keep the transistor saturated, the total VDS, which is VDS min, has got to be greater than the total VGS or VGS max minus V sub t. So what we're saying is that when we're looking at the total signal, it's going to be the DC component, the bias voltage, plus whatever the swing is on it. That can take us up to the edge of, but cannot go further into, or can take us to the edge of the saturation region, but cannot take us beyond the saturation region if we're going to stay in the linear region. So VDS min has got to be greater than VGS max minus VT. Now, from the gain term that we calculated, we know then that V, let's see, how should we write this? Um, VDS, and let's talk about the amplitude of it, divided by VGS, the amplitude of that, equals negative 14. Or let's just talk about the, uh, the magnitude of it, 14. Eh. 14. We've already taken into account the sign change or the phase reverse that 180 degrees. So let's just realize then that VDS, the amplitude of VDS, is going to equal then, or this gives us then that the amplitude of VDS is equal to 14 times the amplitude of VGS. So coming back to this then, VDS min is going to equal VDS, the DC or the bias voltage, minus this distance here, which is the amplitude of VDS, which we just determined then to be A sub V times VGS amplitude. So this value right here, VDS min, is going to be VDS minus A sub V times VGS, or 14, that's a 14 times V G S hat must be greater than or equal to the um, V G S max, which is equal to V G S plus V G S hat. Well, V G S we found to be six tenths of, or we were given was six tenths of a volt. V G S hat. We're going to go ahead and leave that in there because that's what we're trying to find. VGS hat minus V sub T, which we're told was 0.4. So you can go through VDS, we know to be 0.4, minus 14 VGS hat, must be greater than or equal to, uh, let's see, that was 0.6 plus VGS, so 0.6 plus VGS hat minus 0.4. You go through and you do the math on this. An intermediate step would be then um, 0.6 minus 0.4 is 0.2. Subtract 0.2 from both sides gives us 0.2 on this side. Must be greater than or equal to. Now we've got VGS hat here and we've got minus 14 VGS hat so add it to both sides and you get 15 VGS hat or VGS hat, which is the amplitude, the distance that it can swing off of there, must be less than or equal to 0.2 divided by 15, and that equals 13.3 um, millivolts. So this value right here is the amplitude of the swing. It's this amount right there that the input VGS can swing away from capital VGS and still remain or 
and still have it so that the output voltage, VDS, the total voltage, is still within this linear region, or it has not driven it out of the saturation region.